And now we'll talk about the generator effect. You might know what a generator is. A generator generates electricity. Usually there's a motor attached to something, a gasoline powered motor, like a lawnmower engine or something like that, and it runs on the gas and it turns a device and the device produces electricity. So a generator is the opposite of a motor. In a motor, you put in the electricity and the thing turns. In a generator, you turn it and it produces electricity. So generators are handy. You can use them to generate power for your house if the electricity goes out, for example. Here's a picture of a generator. Uh, this is a, a gas tank up on top and there's a, an electric or, or a gasoline powered motor down here. This is the handle you pull to start it. And so it runs on gasoline and the gasoline engine turns while it's running and powers the generator. And there's some controls on the front here and then over here there's a couple of outlets, electrical outlets. You can plug things into it. And you can't run your whole house off a little generator this size. This thing's probably just a couple of feet tall. But um, you could generate enough power to power a few things, like maybe a TV, a uh, computer or two, maybe a refrigerator, depending on how powerful the generator was. So what, the question is, what's going on down in here? What allows this thing to produce electricity? I'm going to tell you the fundamental ideas behind a generator. Okay, let's imagine again we have a north pole of a magnet and then another magnet with the south pole over here. And so we have magnetic field lines running between the poles. There's a magnetic field between that north and south pole. And let's imagine taking a piece of wire and we're going to lift it up. We're going to exert a force on this wire now. We're pushing this wire up. So we are, we are, we are producing the force that lifts this wire up. So the wire slices across those field lines. Well, let's apply the right hand rule again. Let's take our right hand and point our fingers in the direction of the motion of the charge. And the charge is the electrons inside the wire. They're moving up. So the fingers of my right hand point up. And, and my thumb is going to be pointing that way. And if I point the fingers of my right hand up, in a manner such that those fingers will naturally bend into the direction of the field lines, the yellow lines there, then my thumb naturally points in the direction of the current flow. So that's the right hand rule again. So we get current flow through the wire in that direction. And that is the generator effect. You move the wire across the field and current is produced in the wire. So from a physical motion, you get an electric current. And you can see that that's the opposite of a motor. In a motor, you put in the electricity and you get out the motion. Here, you put in the motion and get out the electricity. The fundamental cause is the same in each case, though. The fundamental cause is the fact that a moving charge in a magnetic field will experience a force. And the direction of that force is determined by the right-hand rule. How strong that force is depends on how strong the field is, how strong the charge is, how fast it's moving, all those things. But the basic idea is a moving charge in a magnetic field experiences a force. Now with that in mind, let's picture a loop of wire in the magnetic field again. So I'll draw this wire. And again, the loop doesn't have to be round. We'll make it square or rectangular. It's a little easier to think about that way. And this wire is in this magnetic field. These field lines are running from north to south. Now imagine twisting the loop of wire. So we're going to take it with our hands or with some device and physically rotate it. So this section of wire over here ends up moving up and across and down. And this section of wire over here ends up moving down and across and back up. So we're spinning it, basically. Well, what happens is one part of this wire is being forced uh, upward. This part of the wire over here is being forced upward in this magnetic field. And as a result of that, we get current flow in the wire in one direction. And the other part of the wire is being forced down in the magnetic field. And as a result of that, we get current flow in the wire in the opposite direction, 
like that. So current flows around the loop. And as long as it's rotating, we get this current generated in the wire. And so that's the basic idea behind having a gasoline motor that rotates the generator device and it produces electricity, a continuous flow of electricity through the current. And then there's all kinds of other things going on with um, direct current and alternating current and how to keep the voltage steady and how to keep the wires from twisting up. And we won't go into all those details right now, but I just want you to understand the basic fundamental idea of the generator effect. Moving charge in a magnetic field experiences a force, and so because of that, if you move a wire across the magnetic field, the wire has charge in it, those electrons. And as they move, as they are moved through or across the magnetic field, a force is generated on those electrons which causes current to flow through the wire, and in this case, flows around the loop. And that's the fundamental, fundamental idea behind every generator.